corn. It's a crop that's deeply embedded into the identity of the state, and now it's likely to make incoming high temperatures feel even hotter. So this time of year, crops are in the reproductive stage, particularly corn, and it emits a lot of water vapor. Officially known as evapotranspiration, it's when water evaporates from plants like corn or soybeans, combining with other water molecules in the air, making things outside feel even worse. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, one acre of corn gives off up to 4,000 gallons of water each day during growing season. During the daytime hours, it's just emitting a lot of water vapor and it's adding moisture to the lower boundary layer in the atmosphere. That translates to us as a little bit higher humidity than we probably would otherwise have in this region. In English, that means that it can get very, very humid at the surface and it can make us miserable. According to UNL climatologist Eric Hunt, this is a typical process of healthy crops, now being the peak time for it, likely dying down as the summer ends. And over at LPD, a message urging those spending time outdoors this week to keep the heat in mind in order to stay safe. As um, we rise through the levels of heat advisory, extreme heat watch, extreme heat warning, we're just reminding our folks to be more cognizant. Teams with Centerpoint will also be out on the streets, helping those without a home keep cool. Reporting in Lincoln, Sam Cobb, 1011 News.